What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here. And lucky for us, Crash Dash is here and ready to play. And I'm gonna play Structure Energy. Some people don't like that deck, it's very controversial. But, um, I'm trying to give a wide variety of uh, decks I'm playing on my channel. And since my start of playing Scrolls, I, uh, since my restart of playing Scrolls in the past few weeks, I have not played this deck. So just trying to give a variety. And so Pratt Stash is another veteran good player. So we have our work cut out for us. And not a great starting hand because I have nothing really to play. Okay, this is better. Let's see. Salt battery. That's actually kind of cool. I forgot what that card even did. Um, I have too many three drops here. I should probably get rid of one of them. Let's get rid of the forge. And I'm going to play a useless contraption. Let's see if uh, whatever kind of order deck Crowd Sash is playing. Um, Mono energy structures can hold it off. Next turn, probably get rid of the Thunder Surge just for resources. Okay, he's doing something with oh, something weird, something very weird. Uh, let's get rid of the Thunder Surge. So if he moves his Cross Omen down. I'm going to play the Machine Divinator. If he does not move him down, I will play the Charge Coil. Because I don't want his Cross Omen just to take out my useless contraption. Like, for free. Okay, so I am going to play the Machine Divinator. And there's that guy. Okay. Let's... You know what? I think I should just give this up and just play the charge coil. Yeah. And I will get rid of the assault better and I don't think it's going to do much for us at the moment. Play it up there. So the charge coil will be able to take out the tether to recruit in one punch. But I have to get kind of lucky for that to happen. And I'm sure Crowd Stash wouldn't even mind that happening. Royal Skirmisher. Now I'll play. Um, I guess the Clock Library. Keep the sudden eruption. Play the clock library. And see if I can punch this. Yes, I can. So, saving me a little bit of idle damage, but now he does. Uh, he does have more resources to work with. Sudden eruption, I might have to sacrifice. Because although it's great, it, can't, it can barely do any big damage yet. Spark. Should I spark divinator? Might spark divinator. Or do I go for scrolls hoping for a burn? Yeah, I think I. Then I have a 1 in 3 chance of this dying. Now I'm gonna go for cards. Assault battery. Well, I guess I'm gonna play the machine divinator. I see the focus. Should I put Machine Divinator here or down here? I'll put it, put it here. And I hit that hits this one. So we could spark that next turn. And I assume he's going to focus or do something. Something to destroy that clock library. Imperial Scepter. 
So he's not going to be able to destroy the Clock Library this turn. Adjacent units have the Captain Duke as I want. Okay. Um, unfortunately, uh, I have multiple things I want to spark here. Not sure what I want to do now. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go for the balance of for cards. Hopefully, we can draw another spark. That'd be amazing. No, we don't. In that case, I think. Ugh. Could put this here, but decent chance he just. Then it could just clear it anyways. I'm not in a good position right now. I need to. Spark. Spark that. My charge roll survives. And. Alright, the divinator is gonna have to survive over the charge call, I think. So let's get rid of that. Okay. Set again. So unfortunately, our clock library won't make it. Next turn, I'll probably try to get the X cog out. Wing spear, vigor extraction. Okay. That was uh, pretty cool what he did there. Yeah, it's kind of weird because the countdown didn't really go up to four. Okay, um, I should really get rid of the Imperial Scepter. So that's going to cost actually a good amount. Let's get rid of the assault battery and let's just potency burst this. I'm tired of that getting in the way. And can I hit this? Yes. The luck. The luck is in our favor. Okay, now I need to draw a burn. <laughs> okay, we're actually playing very solo here. I'm not sure if I can survive. Haven't had the perfect draws so thus far. I kinda wish I had a burn. Well, he does have a kabonk which sucks but whatever and now it's time to get cracking let's get rid of the valid dispersal for cards oculus cannon Double charge coil. Uh, I guess the X cog is what comes down right now. The next turn I can go double charge coil. There's always a potency burst as well. I'd need to devote three energy. Uh, to that, to just destroy with this wing spear. There's a ducal skirmisher. Gloomstone Treaty. What the hell does this do? When a non decay creature you control is destroyed during your opponent's turn, summon a revenant in its place, and the treaty counts down by one. Oh god. Revenants are going to spawn. <laughs> Eek. How are we going to deal with this? How, how, how? Uh, I guess it's double charge coil time. I'm going to get rid of a Oculus Cannon. We're going double charge coil. Okay. This is um pretty nerve wracking. Anything I kill, he'll get a revenant in its place. 
So it's almost like no use in trying to kill things. Oh, please don't have a way to destroy the XCOG. I'd love to get a uh, little thingy out of it. Tevid recruits. And that's it. Okay, so we're getting a scout automaton. Potion of resistance. That is a card I like to see. Now, killing something with potency burst would make it only a revenant spawn. So that's kind of good. But right now, I think we can't play it. We see the other two cards in our hand are more valuable at this moment. Well, pretty clear, clear choice I'm going to do here. Double potion. Machine Divinator. Alright. Well, now he needs some kind of pothers and things to... Ah, darn. Hits the wings shield and takes no damage. This is combat damage. The charge coil. Just Conviction. When a soldier you control is destroyed, its attack is added to a random adjacent creature until its next attack. Okay, I have to be really careful about destroying Kradstash's units. Like, really careful. They, uh... Like, while these... <laughs> while these, um... Lingering spells are out there... It's very scary. So, I think my best strategy is probably just putting big things on the board. Um... My best strategy is probably putting big things on the board rather than destroying his units. Hopefully he doesn't go for idols now and like kill me. Okay, so he's all grouped up now. Hmm. If I burn... Just conviction, my soldier control is destroyed, attack is added to run it Okay, I guess I should burn. Burn something. Let's get rid of the Oculus Cannon. Let's, let's actually start by burning. Actually, no, but it's a burn wouldn't even do that much. Let's get rid of the burn. Okay. I'm going to... Do I try to wait this out? That's the thing. Like, maybe I should just wait this out. Like, I could burn. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Decided to just put that right in the middle. <sighs> I'd like to draw a Thunder Surge. Sacrifice one in the very beginning. Interesting game we have going here. Definitely never face a deck quite like it, like this deck. And Kratstash is known to make some pretty interesting uh, decks, but usually with order stuff. Oh no, Gloomstone Treaty. Okay, we have to deal with another one of these. That's going to be here for a long time, so things are going to have to die. Okay, so. That's a lot of things that are going to die. Um, if I had a Thunder Surge right now, it would be perfect, because then the Revenants would die. Well, I'll get rid of an X-Cog. Right? Yeah, I'll get rid of an X-Cog for cards. Okay, no Thunder Surge. I think it's clear what we have to do here. We, now we, we, 
we're fine killing things because we know everything's gonna take one damage. So, okay, so let's make sure we kill some things here. Everything's gonna take a little bit of damage. So let's. Let's burn. Ah, oh, that got it, darn. I was hoping that wasn't gonna get it. And then let's potency burst. This. Okay. Come on, hit something that's not already at one health. Darn, hit something that was already at one health. Okay. And now he has an 8 attack uh, skirmisher right in the middle there. Interesting turn. Blessing of haste, he's gonna destroy, I guess, that idol. Well. We only have to defend three idols. Assault battery? I mean, you don't need that. We need more health on the board. But an X Cog is going to destroy our other X Cog, so that's not really an option. Do these things still have potion resistance? Wow, it feels like it's been longer than that in the game. Hmm. And a Thunder Search would have been perfect last turn. Okay. Sudden Eruption. So, what would, what would happen here if I Sudden Eruptioned? Then... These die... I can't Sudden Eruption yet, I don't think. Too risky. Let's get rid of the X cog. Spark double sudden eruption. Where are my power strips and stuff like that? <laughs> Come on. Um Do I spark something? No, I think I pump. And I think I move back here. Oh by three? Machine Divinators, so our structures are pretty healthy. It's going to be hard for him to break through our defenses here. I really want some power trips. Hits that, and hits that. Really, really want some power trips. Not very good on round 14 as structure energy to only have 6 resources. I should have way more. I haven't drawn any machine chants or power trips thus far. Well, power trip isn't permanent energy, but. Okay, that guy's scary. I have to destroy him right when he gets put on the board, but I don't have actually anything I can do right now. Um, okay, so this is gonna be. This is gonna have two attack, right? Uh, I really just thought I should have a Thunder Surge. When you get a bunch of revenants, that's an issue. Uh, let's, should I just sudden eruption? Yeah, I think it's time for a sudden eruption. I need to ramp up, by the way. If I sacrifice the scrolls, what do I get? To, like, um, unless I was able to get a thunder surge, but I can't risk that. I'm just going to sudden eruption. Okay. Well, uh, how do I want to do this? I want to destroy things that are... Definitely attacking this coming turn. So I guess I'll do it like this. And I have to defend. 
Ah, hit the wrong thing. Come on, hit this. Ugh. He's the big thing survives. Okay. We haven't lost yet. Next turn I get sudden eruption again, and I will have I will deal damage to eight units. I hope he doesn't have any uh, way to make his wing sleeper attack this turn. That could be an issue. Oh. That can be game. He decimates in his deck. GGWP. Wow, that uh, didn't really work out for me. Let's see if he cares for another. Let's see if I could beat that deck with more of a growth deck. Let's see if I could beat it with beast growth. Or if he's not around for the next, the next match, I will go ahead and end the video here because we are already at almost 22 minutes okay good luck have fun well <laughs> he had grizzly graph in that deck too to make some even crazier stuff happen <laughs> So yeah, I'm adding this deck, this game onto this video because I'm playing growth, so the game should end one way or the other relatively quickly. And now I hope there's no kabonk, no kabonk, no kabonk. Please play to the gods of Nuru. Actually, I should be playing my growth player right now, so. Nope, there's a kabonk. Darn, okay, well. It's fine. We are actually in fine shape because I have a two drop and then a three drop. And then a rat king. And as far as I know, this deck of Krad stashes, there's no way for him really to clear the board all these rats just without his like Oh nope, he's changing his deck. Or maybe it is the same deck, I'm not sure. Uh let's get rid of the uh it's a tough choice because the rag wolf could be enough to kill this with it. Let's go ahead and not put pressure on him. I think I can just get away with hitting the middle of the board. Well, he's gonna he, he's letting us hit him anyways. Gallant Defender, okay. This is probably not the same deck I'm playing. Calling the Flock. That card is in this. This is a beast deck. This is not aggro. This is aggro, but it's like very beast heavy. So that's fun. Well, these rats uh, ensure that this gun defender is not losing its armor to anytime soon. That's gonna be hard to destroy. <sighs> and this looks like maybe not the same deck. Maybe he has more late game deck now. Which means that that might be bad for me. Heritage, yeah, this is definitely a late game deck. Heritage, power bound. Well, Kinvolg Veteran right now I don't think will do me any good. It's not gonna really do much of all much at all. Uh Earth Mystic or Nog Ness and Nog. Oh, sorry guys. Actually I just noticed you guys were probably listening to all those Facebook um Yep, that middle tire tile is definitely claimed. <laughs> Do I deal two damage to it? I th honestly, I think I just let it sit. I it has power bound and heritage on it. I don't even want to touch that. I'm gonna play Earthworm Mystic. Gonna clog my top board. Now I'm gonna put it at the bottom here. 
Okay, we <laughs> see if we can go the whole game without, without dealing any damage or destroying the Gallant Defender. I'm gonna try to hit this with one punch. Hopefully with uh, enchantments on my Kinfolk Brave. Ooh, Crimson Bull. Crimson Bull right now would allow me to destroy two idols. But is that worth it? Probably not. I'm gonna sacrifice for cards. Calling the flock, I can get this to five five. That is cool, but I'll save that. And I'll just play two two drops. Sorry about that. Um, I can rally. Well, first of all, I think I'm gonna draw an enchantment. Unleash inner power, what? <laughs> that is a crazy card. Uh, let's go ahead and sacrifice that for cards. I could rally. I don't see the point that would do actually. So let's get that for cards. And Nog Nest Nog? I don't know. <laughs> Probably better than Nog Nest Nog Nest. I doubt three Nog Nests on the board are gonna help. So calling the flock could actually do a lot. Well, maybe I shouldn't. I would, to get a lot out of it, I have to call in the flock the Pi's attack unit, which is the Terran Brute. So I'd lose that. I'd have a few five attack rats. But I think Rat Sash is going to sacrifice his top idol, anyways. Well, I'm glad. I guess I'm not glad. I want a good game, but. That'll be it. So, that was good. Second game was quick. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.